Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm going to be showing you a little technique that you can check when you're making your own touch marks uh, to check the depth of your cut. So if you're doing it some sort of engraving work or you want to see how your touch mark is progressing and transferring along, that you can take and check it out fairly, fairly easily without the hassle of having to fire up a forge and heat up a piece of steel and drive it home. Okay, so hopefully this will be a real quick video and I'm going to just show you how it's done. So the thing you're going to need is a piece of lead. Now this is just sheet lead. You can get this from around old stove pipes, things like that. I uh, should say stove pipes, like plumbing vent pipes. Let me zoom you out just a wee bit here. Uh, you can get this from, you know, plumbing vent pipes, things like that off roofing. You can get it in the roofing industry. You can find it at scrap yards. Uh, you can remelt it down from things like wheel weights and things of that nature. Although the stuff with wheel weights is they may have a little bit of a zinc. But we're going to use this. We're not going to drive this piece because assume this piece has not been hardened and tempered yet. And so we don't want to take and just start mushrooming things about. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to put the piece of lead on top of the pattern. And then we're just going to hammer down lightly. You want to make sure you incorporate until you start seeing the entire outline of the touch mark itself. When you flip it around, and voila, you should have something that looks pretty good. Let me zoom you guys way in here. So there you have it. So why is this handy? This is handy because you can check the depth of your cuts. So the lines that are bolder or a lot sharper or clearer, those are lines that are cut deeper. The lines that are less clear are lines that are cut shallow. So this will help you along your process and this will also give you a good idea of how your mark's going to look on the actual piece. So you can just do that any old way. You can say, okay, well that spot's hitting, but this spot's not. Maybe I need to file a little something away so this way it's hit all hitting nice and flush and even. And it's just a really, really quick way of checking this. So let me grip another tight touch mark in there. And for those of you who don't know, that's a, that's a Big Dog Forge's logo there. Put a link to his channel in the description. You definitely want to go check him out. He's doing some really neat stuff, trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. And, uh, and beyond, you may want to go check out his channel. He does a lot of things with Damascus and some knife work and things like that. Definitely worth the watch. So I just made that touch mark for him. Uh, so here's my own personal touch mark. As you can see, this is quite a bit smaller. Uh, this is a little anvil with a cross in the center of it. It is my shop logo, if you will. And so now I'm just going to take and we'll find a place right next to the one that I just did. And I'm just going to tap it right on down. Obviously this ain't going to take as much tapping because it's a much smaller touch mark. So there you go. You guys can see very quickly how now you can check and see how the outline is going to perform uh, when it's actually stamped into your material. Now lead, lead immediately is very soft. Lead is going to be just slightly softer than what hot mild steel will be and definitely it's way too soft for checking if you're going to be punching into high carbon tool steels. The way that you want to check your touch mark and how it's going to look after that is with a piece of annealed brass. That'll be about the same surface tension as what you'll have in a hot piece of steel and uh, that'll do very well for you. Be careful. Uh, make sure it's uh, like an annealed brass, not a machine type brass. It, you know, brass that can be forged or formed uh, is usually is usually rolled out. It's in a sheet format already. So you can check it on it against a piece of brass. This is a machinable brass and uh, you can usually check that way and get a good get a good telling on how your marks gonna hold up. The reason why I wouldn't suggest doing that at first though until you get your outlines I wouldn't suggest doing this until after you have done some sort of heat treatment to the material. And the reason why is because if you've got something this small and you just go whacking into something hard right away, you're going to deform everything and you're not going to get a true accurate reading. So this is where the lead material is a little bit better uh, to be able to do this. Now, dangers. Obviously, lead. 
not good. Lead poisoning, not good. Be careful, be safe, use your brain, uh, you know, common sense, don't chew on it, don't lick it, you know, don't rub it against your skin and all that. You see I'm wearing gloves because it's got a little bit of this lead oxide that's coming off of it here. Uh, wear a respirator if it's like real dirty stuff. If you're remelting it down from wheel weights, please, for the love of God, do it outside in an open area where there's nobody else around. Let it melt down, come in, check on it, wear a respirator if you need to. It's dangerous stuff and it will kill you. So, uh, slowly and painfully, I guess. That's from what I hear. But anyways, enough of that. There's your warning. Be safe out there. Use what you got to do. But, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions about this, just feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I do read everybody's questions, and then if I get enough of the same kind of question, I may do it, shoot another video on it that way. So anyways, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, appreciate the feedback. And like always, God bless you. We'll catch you on the next one.